hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks so much for watching y'all thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it now first i want to send a shout out to og jacario because i ha i got two screenshots off of his video if you want to see the whole video go to his page and check it out y'all okay but i wanted to talk about two things okay with this guy right here aaron all right y'all this is aaron on the picture okay aka yari all right um First, you know, he brought out some new information that he, you know, responded to the bloggers or whatever, to the people, okay? This Yari Aaron guy. He responds to everybody about the internet stuff. Now, okay, now first, he responds, then, the, then this Maserati guy is responding. Now, I think this guy's a producer or something like that. So, I think that this is all a play, to be honest with you, okay, this is what, you know, my personal opinion, this Maserati guy, he seemed like he's just trying to get his name out there, and this Yari guy is trying to get his name out there because he got music, now I know, you know, particular bloggers want to act like he's so popular and this and that and that and this, but if you Google this guy, Yari, nothing comes up, y'all, nothing comes up about this guy, so if he's so damn popular and he don't need the clout, then why in the world can't you pull him up so easy? Okay, y'all? Um, You know, contrary to what people want to say. Okay, y'all? Um, You have to ask yourself this question as well. When somebody is blogging about they want to find get justice for Dolph, but yet and still they are defending people that they don't know shit or do they? Okay, y'all? You got to ask yourself this question. Why? Okay? See, this is how y'all, you know, separate people that's out here really trying to find out something that's going on with Dolph and people that's not really trying to find out what happened to Dolph. But they're saying it, you know, so that they subscribe account can go up. Okay, y'all? So, um, this Maserati guy, he said, I was just with him yesterday. He didn't know that video was going to go stupid viral. Stupid viral, y'all. Get it? Stupid viral. I mean, just blue, just over the roof, okay, y'all? He fell back because it brought some heat attention. Now, word on the street, what I heard, he was getting, you know, threats. People were wanting to take his life. This was somebody came and told me, okay, y'all? But I don't understand why would people want to take his life. It's just like OG Jacario said. He made a good point at who wanted to take his life. Do, do Empire know where he live at? You know, I'm just saying, y'all. He made a really, really good point. And the thing that got me is, you know, something clicked in my head when I saw this. And then when you saw the message that Aaron slash Yari put out after, you know, this. I'm going to show you the, his message, too. The first thing that popped in my head was this was definitely done for clout. Okay, y'all? This was definitely done to get his name out there. That's why he reached out to Dolph in the first place on IG. Because he wanted, you know, to use Dolph like everybody else did. To get, you know, get a, get, get a deal. Get a deal. Okay, y'all? Now, if Dolph, you know, really, really liked his music all that much, he would have did just like he did with everybody else and signed him right away. So nobody else grabbed him up. But he didn't, y'all. He didn't. He just talked back and forth with him. Now, other people want to say Dolph was his mentor and all of this and that. And this. Usually, the people that Dolph is mentoring, they're under his belt. They're under pre-belt. So, why didn't he sign this guy if he liked his music so much? Okay, y'all? Because Dolph signed people that he liked. It's something weird about this guy, y'all. Okay? And I'm just going to put it out there straight point. I'm not going to bite my tongue or nothing like that. It's something very weird about this guy. And the reason why I say this is because the response that he gave on the next picture that I posted, I'm going to put up. Um, 
to be honest with you, like I said, the first thing came to my mind when I saw this post and then I saw the other post, and I'm like, damn, this is what it was about all along. He wanted to go viral. Dolph had just been taken out. Dolph is a big name. He had so many people he helped. He had so many celebrities that even liked him. Okay? He had a lot of people that cared about him. Okay? Not the people that was closest to him, but a lot of people that he did stuff for and a lot of people, you know, that, you know, it, you know, the celebrity, some of the celebrities, they liked him, liked him. Okay? And this guy... Is an up-and-coming artist that's trying to get you know some kind of deal or whatever and he's trying to get his name out there he want people to hear his music because i've never heard not one song if somebody offered me 10 million dollars i have not heard not one song from this guy right here okay but what better way to get your name out there in the streets okay he knew everybody was talking about empire that all the artists that's on empire's label is being taken out this and that he heard that he knew about this Okay, this guy knew this, like everybody else know about Empire and how the artists and stuff is passing away. But it ain't just Empire, it's all the art, all the labels. Artists are passing away. Okay, but he knew this. And what better way to get your name out there than to say, Dolph showed me his bank account. Now, like I said this before, why would Dolph show him his bank account when he didn't even show his best friend? His best friend didn't come forward. Somebody that was his friend from childhood. He didn't say nothing. He act like he was so crazy about Key Glock because Key Glock was his, all, with him all the time. Why didn't he say anything to Key Glock? Why didn't he say anything to his baby mama about he got a million dollars and had a meeting with Empire? And um, if something happened to him, you know, he did it. Why didn't he say anything to anybody else? Only this guy right here. The person that he didn't even sign yet. He has no paperwork with this guy. He got no really good ties to this guy that anybody know of. None. I haven't even seen a picture of him and Dolph together. Not one. But he want everybody to believe. Okay, y'all? That Dolph told him this. Okay, y'all? Now, nobody said that he had played a part in taking Dolph out. None of that. Even though bloggers wanted to jump the gun and say, oh, they trying to act like he did. And nobody said that. But I'm going to say this. He's a clout chaser. He wanted to get his name out here. And that's what he did. If somebody came to you and said, and showed you something, and said, if something happened to me, this person did it, you make sure you tell everybody. Okay. Why would you jump on social media, put a video up, and then disappear? Why haven't you talked to authorities? Why ain't you just keep screaming it to the, to the mountaintops that this is what happened? You know why? Because this is exactly what he wanted to do, go stupid viral, so that he can get his name out there with Dolph's name when Dolph passed away. He's a user. He's a liar. Okay? And I said it. And I don't care what anybody say afterwards. I said it. He's a liar. Now things are starting to, you know, add up about everything. All right? This guy wanted his name in everybody's mouth. He wanted people to um, want to look for him and find out who he is. And then as soon as he popped back up on the scene, the only thing he's talking about is his damn music. He's not saying anything about Dolph. I was sitting right next to Dolph. If you saw damn, you know, if you was really sitting next to Dolph, well, where's the damn picture? Hmm? Where's the picture? Everybody that's around Dolph, that been around Dolph, got pictures that's around him. What he gonna do, go do what old girl did and try to go get a cut out of Dolph and take a picture and say, see, I, I took pictures with him too. It's a lot of liars in the mix right now, y'all. And I think it was all a part of the play too, to get... This, he's a part of the whole mess of trying to get everybody confused, okay? Now, another thing that I say, this guy is a weirdo, okay? I want y'all to look at this message that he put out. I got this from off, you know, the screenshot from off OG Jacario's page too. This is a message that he put out. 
he says, Yari gang. Okay? He ain't got no damn gang. The nigga been hiding ever since he said it. Okay? And now that somebody want to, you know, call his ass out. Now this is what he has to say. So I go viral. See, this is what it was out about in the first place. The other message, the Maserati guy said he didn't think it was going to go stupid viral. And then he put this message up saying, so I go viral. That's what it was all about in the first place, going viral, y'all. Okay? This is what he wanted to do to get himself out there. Okay? So people can want to be like, oh, let me check out his music. Because ain't nobody checking out his damn music. But somebody want to say he's all over the place. He's all over the place. He's going to be at the award show, I guess, next um, next month. Okay, y'all? This is the way bloggers want to make it look, which make you wonder, did certain bloggers pop up on the scene just to protect people that played a part in some kind of way? Of If, if, if it wasn't even about helping set him up, was it about, you know, um, the clout, the all of that, riding off his name and shit too. Okay, so this is what he pulls up, puts out. I go viral and YouTube and bloggers get rich off of me overnight. Now ask yourself this question: If you go viral, don't that mean you the one that got rich off of those overnight? Ask yourself this question: How the hell do everybody else get rich off of you going viral? You was the first person that jumped out and said some shit about Dolph. This is why everybody was like, what the hell is going on? And start looking into Empire. But remember when I told y'all months ago when I first started doing Dolph Case, I was like, this story is all over the place, just like Mo 3's. And the people that was behind taking Mo 3 out, they wanted the story to be all over the place. They wanted this. So that people will be confused and they can just brush the, the, the case under the rug because there's so many stories out. Okay? Just like Kanika Jenkins, y'all. This is the new thing of what people are doing. They pay bloggers to go on and to, to get on social media and send everybody off. And then you have to, you know, wean through the ones that really want justice and the ones that really don't. Because if you really want justice, you don't sit, you don't leave no stone unturned. You can't play, you know, favoritism out here. Hell, I look at everybody. I ain't got time for that. All right, y'all? I ain't got no time to be babying people. You're supposed to look at everybody. And this guy right here is very weird. He's very, very weird. Okay, y'all? And I think this is what it was all about in the first place. If I jump on social media, since I didn't get a chance to, you know, use Dolph and get him to sign me before they took him out, I can make some money off of his name by getting my name out here. I'm going to say Dolph showed me the bank account. Now, let me ask y'all one more question before I get off of this video. There's another person. That people has tried to take his life. They came up in his house with him and his girlfriend. Little dirt, y'all. Little dirt. They have tried to take do little dirt off a couple times. They've been trying to come at him, come at people around him, all that good stuff. Okay, y'all? And what did little dirt do, y'all? What did he do? He pumped up his security because he thought that people want to take him out. He know people want to take him out. So he got more security. Okay, y'all? That's what you do when somebody want to take you out. You pump up more security. You start being more careful. Now ask yourself this question. If two days before Dolph was taken out, Dolph felt some type of way that people wanted to take him out, why was he foot and fancy free doing everything, walking around by himself with no security? That further tells you that this nigga right here is a liar. Okay, y'all? Because if Dolph been shot up a couple times. If he felt any type of way that that meeting went sideways with Empire and that he felt that somebody was going to come at him. He didn't know how. He didn't know when. But he knew they were coming in the last few days of his life. Why didn't he have security around him, y'all? 
And if he didn't have security around him, why didn't he have a big ass toy around him for to take care of business and be on point? Why would you be sending your brother to the next door to go get some, you know, some paper so you can smoke? Why would you leave your brother in a car or around the corner or somewhere else and you called him and he had to show up to come and help you? Why? It makes no sense, y'all. And this guy was a part of everybody else that was having your, you know, the story all over the place. This guy right here. Okay. So I'm thinking now it's safe to say that I don't even think there was, you know, any kind of showing this guy no $100 million bank account because I don't see Dolph as that type of person. Dolph dressed to impress, okay, y'all? You can look at his watch, his clothes, from the bottom of his feet to the top of his head and knew that he was a baller. He didn't have to show you his bank account, okay? He, If he was talking to this guy on the phone and said, man, if somebody tried to come at me, it'll, it'll be empire. Hell, I got over $100 million in the bank. Why would he say that when he was worth way more than $100 million? So something ain't right about this guy. And I'm, I'm, I'm to the point right now that I am going to completely cut that out of anything else that I post about the $100 million because I think this guy is lying. Okay, y'all? Now, I'm not saying that he ain't had no meeting with the empire or none of that. But I think this guy lied about that whole thing. Now, I don't know if that part is true or not. As far as the empire and the meeting and wanting to buy, I think that's something this guy came up with. So he can get his name out there. I truly believe that. Okay. And that's all I got to say about this one. I have nothing else to say about this one right here. But he's a clout chaser. He wanted his name out there. He wanted people to know who he is. And all of this mess. Okay. And like I told you. If somebody told you. That somebody was about to take them out. Over some money in a meeting. Why wouldn't you go to authorities and talk to them? Why would you jump on social media, put the video out, and then run off somewhere and, and ain't, you know, ain't talking, ain't saying shit else? If you was Dolph's closest, closest friend that he trusted you with everything, and you wanted to spread the word out there, why say it one time and go on about your business? And then now that people got questions for your ass and want some proof from your ass, you ain't got shit to say, but I went viral. And the bloggers got rich off of me overnight. How the hell we get rich off of you when you the one went viral? We didn't go viral. You did over all that that you told. Okay, y'all? So we're going to carry on to the next. We done with this one right here because this one right here we already know is a straight up clout chaser. A big ass liar. He's no different from that female that said that Dolph took the last picture in his life with me at the restaurant. I, we were the last people that took a picture with Dolph before he was taken out. How the hell would she know that? And how the hell would this nigga know anything about Dolph's bank account? Ask yourself this question. Okay, y'all? On to the next. Anyway, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.